What's up guys? I'm Jocelyn Davis and you're back at Clever TV. Now today we have a very special treat for all those Vampire Diaries fans out there because joining us in the studio is what I think, you're probably one of the foremost experts on the show. Why thank you. Oh my is, gosh, that's such an honor. It's true though. <laughs> this is Robin Ross from TVGuide.com. Hey and you, I look to you for scoop all the time. Like, how do you stay yeah. on the cutting edge of all this info? I mean, especially with that show, it's very hard because obviously there's so much going on and mm -hmm. they keep everything very secretive um, yeah. to the credit of the wonderful producers. Um, but it's, it's really just, you know, the second you hear about something, finding out more, their cast is great with doing interviews and talking yeah. to them. So there's just... You know, and they they love catering to their fans and to the press, right. and so it's a great show to to follow. Exactly, and of course, there's so much drama on the show. Season three, I'm oh loving God. the show, and so we're gonna break down some predictions yes. because I think you have a lot of great info. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the whole Anna Vicky mm -hmm. situation. First okay. off, I was so excited to see these two girls come back to the show because I think they're amazing. They had mm -hmm. great characters. But how long are they going to be around? Like, mm -hmm. what's the deal here? You so, um, I, they're going to be around for a good portion of the season. Last time I spoke to Kayla Yule, uh -huh. she had thought it might be 10 episodes. Wow. And we're, we only just had episode four air. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think they're going to be around for a bit. I also love, I think Anna and Jeremy, P.S. have such good chemistry. Last night's episode? I mean, yeah. I, I Heartbreaking I moments. know. So, I think that... Um, we still, there's so many things to find out about why they're there. We have no idea. We're, we just found out that the two are actually sort of against each other. Exactly. So I think there's so much still to explore because they, they're clearly back for a reason um, and we don't really know what that is just yet. Okay. And we don't know if it's a diabolical plan or it's just a plan to try to get back into people's lives. No idea. So I think we're going to be seeing them for and both quite a while. Them. Or do you think it's just going to end up being one? Well, I think that um, for Vicky, there, there's more of a of wanting to connect her brother. with her brother. Yeah. Um, and now that he's sort of in on the whole secret, Jeremy went to him and, and, told, and told him. him. So I think we're definitely going to see more of her. We also don't know why Anna is warning them against her. Exactly. What's so the deal? I don't, I don't know. Um, and we, uh, Vicky is not evil as far as we've seen. So Never in the past, at right. least. Right. Um, Anna, they kind of had a goodbye last night, but I have a feeling that's not the last No, because it was, a, it was sort of a really upsetting goodbye. Yeah. So. And I think... Later down the line, um, it, it seems like they're going to ask Jeremy to sort of call on his new supernatural powers to find out information from the witches. As you know, Bonnie can't call on her dead witch friends anymore because she lost that power. So I think that Jeremy's ability is going to be um, Ooh, quite a resource down the line. That's interesting. So Jeremy mm -hmm. has sort of shifted. Like, he now has these supernatural powers. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's a two-way street as we learned, but Jeremy really has the power to call on that and have them. Here. Ooh, that's interesting. I hadn't even thought of that. I yeah. love this info. <laughs> um, okay, so then of course the other big thing this season, which we've been hearing over and over mm -hmm. again across, you know, all outlets mm -hmm. from everyone, that the big thing this season yes. is the originals. Yes. And or are the originals. So of course we've been seeing Klaus and most recently his sister Rebecca. Mm -hmm. We've already been introduced to Elijah who's dead, but mm -hmm. you think he might be coming yes. back. I do hear that he's coming back in episode eight, which is the same episode that they just cast uh, their mother in. So Ooh. I'm guessing it's in a flashback scene because um, they cast someone who's pretty young. Um, okay. So I think it's going to be a flashback scene. Alice Evans okay. is going to be playing um, Mama Klaus. Mama Klaus. <laughs> I know. Like, I don't yeah, know. they have a crazy last name. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. And so Elijah Daniel Dailies will be back, I believe, in that episode. That's cool. Yes. I actually was a little bit nervous about this being the so-called year of the originals uh -huh. um, because I love the series for all the teen angsty current stuff, and I never was a huge flashback person, but I love the Klaus stuff this, this Me season too, and so the stuff far. with Rebecca. I just never anticipated the way that the storyline went there. I know. At all. And now Stefan is in some pretty deep trouble. Stefan has some serious drama. If he thought his I pure vampire life was drama, no. I'm no. Sorry. Um, and there's still, with the original, so much to learn. Clearly, Klaus and his sister are running from someone, that vampire hunter, hunter. that we met. Um, so is the, this a vampire, another vampire who's hunting them? Because I would feel like it would have to be someone who's immortal. It, or yeah. it's a family that's just been longtime hunters. Is that what you think? I I, I think it's got to be someone. I mean, he's more powerful than Klaus because Klaus is scared of him. Right. So he has to have something on them. Um, 
we don't know quite yet, but we met him in the in the twenties episode, uh, and he will be coming back. Interesting. I can't wait to see how that plays out. I know. I just I can't. And I love the sister. She's a little sassy sister. Don't you Rebecca. love her? I know. I really love her, and I want to know if anything is going to happen with her and Stefan. I know. I don't think so at this point. At first, I was kind of like maybe, but right. now I don't think so. I think they're on to Stefan. They know that he's still in love with, in love with Elena. Yeah. I, I think I don't think they're going to trust him. And then, of course, speaking of love and romance, the new It couple. I know that you are all about Caroline and Tyler. I know. <laughs> she look at her face light up. So what's the deal here? Are, are they going to stay together for a while? You know, no. <laughs> no. No. Um, for now, I think um, they're very happy, but there is going to be some bumps in the road coming mm -hmm. up. They have a huge problem in the sense that Caroline's mom is the sheriff and, and Tyler's mom is the mayor and their kids are these opposite species that are supposed to be against each other, first of all. And their parents are in this council that whose whole mission is to find them kill and kill them. the vampires, exactly. So I think there's gonna be um, a, quite a bit of struggle for them down the line. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I just, I love, I'm totally team forward, P.S. And I love Matt too, but I think Tyler and Caroline have just such a hot like romance going on. And yeah. I love that they really care about each other. We've seen them be there for Risk each other. Risk each other's lives. And in the, the most other. vulnerable vulnerable moments, uh -huh. um, we've seen Caroline cry to Tyler and Tyler even cry to Caroline. So I love these two together. I really hope that they stay together. Plus they're I mean, so attractive. It's like ridiculous. That oh hot gosh. supernatural sex. I mean, <laughs> when it's, exactly. I was it's like, like, whoa. Seriously. Um, but you know, well, nothing we'll can see. ever stay perfect. Wishful thinking. I know. Um, speaking of nothing staying perfect, I love these segues. Yeah. Elena and Damon. I mean, what is really going on here? Has Elena changed? You know, because well, Damon told her, was it in the first or second episode? Don't forget, like how you felt about me when right. Stefan comes back. Right. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's so, it's I heartbreaking think, yeah, situation. I think, you know, if you remember the very end of last season, Catherine said to Elena, you know, it's okay to love them both. And I actually had asked Julie Pleck, the producer, about that. Was that sort of the theme for the season? And she was like, it's sort of a theme for the series. That yeah. Elena is going to go along this line and sort of think, what kind of person am, am I if I do love these two people? What does that say What's about wrong me? With me? You know, yeah. Um, and I think she's gonna constantly sort of toe the line with each of them. I think her and Stefan are always gonna be the heart of the series, but there's always gonna be that chemistry between her and Damon, and a part of her that really cares for him. And and Damon, as we know, loves her. Is there gonna be a hookup though? I mean, what do you think? I think this season. I think. At some point, there is got there to is, be. Yes, I think that at some point there will be. I, I, I mean, I think there's going to be more to it than that one little teeny kiss we saw on Damon's deathbed last year. Yeah, I think they're going to go for it at some point. Maybe not this season, but Sometime before series future. end, those yeah. two are going to hook up. I agree with you. But the situation's looking pretty dire right now. Stefan, is he, what's, right. is he gonna make it out this season? What's the deal? Well, so they're returning to Mystic Falls. They're back in Mystic Falls, they're yeah. Back in Mystic Falls, which means Klaus now knows that the doppelganger is alive. Elena's alive. So there's gonna be a lot of trouble, um, and I, I would imagine many more sacrifices down the, the road that Stefan's going to have to make for Elena in order to keep her alive. Um, there's gonna be, I don't, I mean, they're not gonna, they're not gonna kill Stefan. I mean, no, let's be he real can't, here. he can't die. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. Um, but I think it's gonna be dire circumstances. If we thought his road was tough, I think it's gonna get a little bit tougher um, now that they're back in Mystic Falls. And he has to see, we see how he melts when he's in front of Elena. Um, and so I think it's gonna be yeah. even more. Now, I agree with you when you say that Stefan is not gonna die in the series. But right. if we've learned one thing on this show, it's that no one is ever safe from True. death. And I know that you and I were kind of chit chatting, and I've seen out yes. in the blogosphere that you know no one is safe this season either and uh, right. there's going to be some some death go down do you do you have any predictions for a major and character this is solely a prediction right. so i don't want anyone hating on right. me but i i think if they are going to choose a major character to die it's going to be bonnie why do you say um i think they've already stripped her of her powers true yeah um i know there there is a lot more to explore with her because we really haven't learned a lot about her family but, you know, she was absent in the first few episodes. Um, I just think of all the main characters that I could see her being the Jenna of last season where, yeah. you know, it's heartbreaking, but you know that the show is being bold enough to go there. Yeah. They're not scared to do it. Um, so 
I don't know. I'm kind of scared for Bonnie. I think she... Um, She's very human at this point. They're focusing right. on that side of her character. Right, which so. makes her that much more at risk, you know? I know, I know, it's so sad, but hey, maybe she can come back as a ghost if she does die, hypothetically True, speaking. I mean, at least if you, <laughs> I mean, you know if you die in that show, it must be nice as an actor to know that exactly. there is no end, there is no end, you can come back in some way. Any other big predictions for season three? Um, I mean, we did cover pretty much every character. I know, um, I think that we are going to see more eventually down the line between Damon and Stefan. Um, the Brotherhood is really the heart of the series, and, and right now they're like totally at odds. I think at some point they're going to have to come back together and team up in some way right. to, to fight some sort of greater Evil. cause. Um, and I think from the promos and from the gallery pictures, Klaus is totally here to stay. They have. I think that he has definitely become a major, major character on the show that they weren't expecting, and I think he's going to be um, definitely around for a little a long time. I'm okay with the addition of the English accent. I You're know. too cute for words. I know. And yeah. I, although he's a bad guy, him and Stefan's bromance is kind of funny. The flashback really made me see him in a whole new way. So Absolutely. It just goes to show that anything is possible on the Vampire Diaries. Yeah. You know, it's a great show. So of course, if you guys want to stay posted on everything that's going down, as well as spoilers, mm -hmm. you can follow Robin over on Twitter. You want to yes. throw your Twitter out? Robin Ross TVG, and feel free to ask me questions or give me your thoughts. Yeah, um, she's always live tweeting during the show, and yes. I get tons of info from her. And of course, you can always stick with us here at Clever TV as well by following us on Twitter. That's at Clever TV. Thanks for watching the show, and thanks, Robin. Thank you for, for having me. All the way from New York to hang out. Anytime. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank Love you, you guys. <laughs> so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.